Welcome. My name is Diane Dennis with Inspired Media, and here today is Jan Ingalls Smith. She's an author of multiple books. She's the founder of Light Song School of 21st Century Shamanism and Energy Medicine, and she is the creator of Recre Recreate Yourself, Seven Truths to Guaranteed Success. Thank you, Jan, for being here today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, you have created this webinar to help up the masses do what you teach in your school, lightsong.net. You have a school, an actual school where people can get certific uh, degrees in uh, shamanism and energy medicine. And you have courses and classes and workshops and, and retreats. But this, this uh, webinar uh, is, thanks to the uh, World Wide Web and the internet, you can now uh, teach multiple people in multiple places geographically around the world how to shift their lives. And everyone I know is suffering from something. Like uh, if you get in a conversation with a girlfriend, you're talking, if you talk more than five minutes, you're going to hear something they don't have that they want. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So based on quantum physics, physics and energy medicine that you know about and teach when people are suffering because they're there's a loss of some sort, or they don't have something that they want. Tell me about that. What's going on? I think you've done a good job describing that in that it seems like everybody is in some level looking for something that they don't have. Mm -hmm. There's a, <clears throat> I call it a lack consciousness. You have a lack of prosperity, a lack of love. Your health is compromised somehow. You might have an illness. Your emotional health requires antidepressants or now anti-anxiety. Things have shifted a little bit. Um, some people are self-medicating with marijuana or alcohol just to feel better, but, or you're experiencing lack of time. I mean, that's a big one in today's world too. Too many demands on you. You find yourself wondering, where's the joy? All of these are lacks and they're all putting you into a place of wanting something that you don't have. And my, my quest in life has been how to help people heal because to me this is all requires some sort of healing even if it's around prosperity or time it still requires some sort of healing and like how did you get there in the first place and why is this happening to you so i have been dedicated to healing all of my life since i was in my 20s through science i have biology and chemistry degrees as well as psychology and then energy medicine but it's always like, how do you do this? How do you move from a place of unwellness to wellness? I guess one of the questions, biggest questions I have is, you know, for those of us that are self-aware, like I know blank happened in my childhood and I know that I had this, have this fear around money because 2008, you know, shook me up. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, what, we've all had these experiences. I'm aware of them. I've worked through accepting them, but there's, it always feels like I'm not really over it. Mm -hmm. what's, what's that about? Well, and I've taken my work to a different level because that is common, what you're saying, what is all that? And we have all these different methodologies to help people that, yes, they do help, but there's a little bit of a missing thing that's, there can be things still there. <clears throat> it was when I was introduced to quantum physics that I actually understood a different concept that is not the norm in our society. It's just out of the box enough, even in the realm of science. But it's very popular right now. And that is the idea of multiple realities happening sim simultaneously. And the reason I say it's popular right now is you can always look to the movies to see what is being broadcasted into the collective consciousness. So there's been tons of movies that have been out for years on this, um, such as The Matrix, Frequency, 
sliding doors, what the bleep do we know, Groundhog Day, Back to the Future, all these things have been showing multiple realities and we laugh at them and think, oh, it's make-believe, but it's not make-believe to quantum physics. And just recently, there's this new movie that's out called Spider-Man of the Multiverses or Spider-Verses. Wow. That is a kid's movie. And I'm sitting there watching it with my six-year-old grandson going, oh my God, they're now bringing this as natural to the little ones. And he'll say to me, he'll say, well, in another dimension, I can do this. And at six, to him, this is natural stuff. But the fact being is, is that it's true. There are parallel realities. There are multiple dimensions. And in one dimension, you might be in all of this type of lack. And in another dimension, you are thriving and healthy. In science and in life, we have called these miracles because they're unexplainable to just basic science, but they are absolutely the norm in quantum physics and quantum realities. How do you get from Groundhog's Day into <laughs> the next version of your higher self? Right. Well, that was part of the emphasis of recreate yourself. Mm -hmm. I wanted to take some of these very complex theories that are, they're mind boggling at times to try to read through this. And a lot of things with quantum physics is we have theories, There's, we have examples of things that are not behaving to the norm and we don't know how to explain it. So it falls into this category of quantum physics. But I don't want to do that to people. You don't need to become a quantum physicist to understand these things. I made it very simple with energy medicine pra practices. Like if you follow these, not even follow, if you just have this basic understanding, as soon as an understanding is given to a person, they then have a way to express it, to vocalize it, to experience it, and to kind of wrap their mind around it. And that is presented in Recreate Yourself. It's a different way of explaining how you got to those places that you've been working on and still find that you're hung up. And it doesn't really have anything to do with the events that took place. It doesn't have to do with the, the crash in 2008. It doesn't have anything to do with your childhood experiences but it does have to do with an energetic expression that is now in control of your situations, or you think it is. It doesn't have to be there, because I will tell you, even just listening to this, it creates a shift for you. It okay. just Let's moves it. into a different possibility. Let's do it. Okay, so lightsong.net, <laughs> you can find Recreate Yourself, Seven Truths to Guaranteed Success. Mm -hmm. And um, you just don't, you, you just have to go through the program. You can't listen to a radio show and, or an interview and say, oh, it's just like reading a self-help book. How many self-help books have we read? And we go, oh, I feel good. And then two days later, that feel good's gone. So mm -hmm. I, uh, let's put some words that are ex understandable to this. Mm -hmm. um, is this, is a word that would be, appropriate for following the principles and recreate yourself, discipline. To a certain extent, yes. I don't want it to be that you are um, having to follow absolute types of things, but the adage of you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Yeah. Is that type of discipline. Like these things are available to people. I've, I've, dedicated my life to make things available to people. I can do all of this work, but I can't make you follow right. through and do it. So you're opening, uh, you're, 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 you're offering 
But and often, people, well, a horse is going to drink when he's he or she's thirsty. That's right. So um, if people are motivated to get out of this groundhog day, the same yeah. thing is happening over and over, and they're wanting the same thing, and it's not happening, right. then uh, there are strategies or tools yeah. that can make that shift, right? right? Yeah, that you don't have to become a master of but the basic understanding of it is going to empower you and then you can take it where you want to after that. And practice, right? Practice. Absolutely. Application of the, of, the, of the principles. But the thing of it is, is that when things are fun, when, when you can see results and you go, oh, I can do that. When they're do fun. Do people give to, up too easily? Uh-huh. Uh, the reason I'm asking is because if I say, okay, I want to manifest more money, okay? Yeah. And I'm going to do everything that Jan says in the, in the webinar, okay? I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Where's the money? Do we give up too easily? It's like, if I want a loaf of bread, I go to the grocery store, I get a loaf of bread. Instant gratification. Mm -hmm. Is this quantum physics manifesting on a different, in terms of our human language, different timeline line? You can move into a timeline instantaneously or into a parallel reality instantaneously. That's what we've called miracles. However, the people that have experienced miracles are doing some basic principles in order for those things to happen. And that's what we're talking about in Recreate. So it just depends on the person, how resistant you're going to be and how open to possibilities you're going to be. You're always in control through your resistances and or your excitement, which is where I like to live my life. I like to live my life in the excitement of all of these different possibilities that are presenting themselves to me continuously. And how do I move into that I call it the data stream of them, which is in so a- So if somebody has a resistance or a block or something that they don't want to have, why would they keep the resistance? You know <laughs> yeah, that's I mean? a good question. <laughs> I think they keep it because they don't understand. They don't understand how easy it is to move away from it. Things have been set up in our society to be arduous and difficult. Oh. And they don't have to be. So there could be a little- so, uh, habit something that's a habit that's sort of self-sabotaging like oh yeah well she said this is gonna work yeah huh well i'm gonna try it is the attitude in there is of course if attitude is is everything really yeah you you want to go into it with um excitement and passion but i think i think a little bit that you're a bit missing missing what i'm trying to say here and that it doesn't have to be hard and it doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to be one of those things where you're promoting yourself to failure, you know, where you think, oh, I'm doomed. It's never going to work for me. Because when you understand the basic principles of energy and how it works, it's very easy to move into a different time uh, or a different perspective. And again, just from listening to this, just from listening to our conversation, that has opened doors of opportunity because there are, there are opportunities and possibilities and parallel realities of these versions of you that are right here. They are right here. And it's just so a matter of moving into it. And we do this naturally every day. People don't realize that they're doing it because again, we don't have the vocabulary for it or the cosmology for it that we have this understanding. But as soon as you're introduced to this, you can go, oh yeah. I mean, look at it this way. Have you ever had a conversation with somebody that you, you shared an experience together mm -hmm. and then you're telling or you're listening to them tell the story of the experience and you're thinking, God, that wasn't how I remembered it at all. I say it didn't happen that way. <laughs> okay. But what if there are parallel realities 
that are happening simultaneously. And in their version, it did happen that way. And in your version, it happened a different way. When I first heard about this in quantum physics, I was so excited because I don't want to make anybody wrong. That is not anything that I find pleasure in, in making somebody wrong. But I also would say, God, that isn't the way that I experienced it. So it sets up this dichotomy of who's right and who's wrong. Yeah, right. But instead, everybody gets to be right because that whole thing of parallel realities um, explains it that way, that they are in a different version of themselves that they remember and experience because every reality has a whole memory to it. Although I don't want to get into all of that, but I thought Spider-Man said it really, really well, the little kid when he was in Spider-Man, he said, these versions are different, but kind of different, but sort of the same. And so, oh. you, you know, we're just moving into these different versions all the time. They're kind of different, but sort of the same, or sort of the same and kind of different. I mean, however you want to look at it, but there's these different versions. So it's not like all of a sudden you're just going to be this completely different thing. And it all is dependent on which reality that you want to live in. But I, I found this with my kids, you know, with these stories. I'm listening to them tell stories of things and I'm like, oh, what planet are they on? But then when I, again, realized this was part of quantum physics with these parallel timelines, it all just, I was like, oh, this is incredible because nobody has to be wrong anymore. And you can move in and out of these versions at whim. We're doing it every day, all of the time, multiple times a day, but now you're going to have awareness to how things are working. And so and recreate yourself, Seven Truths to Success, your, your webinar uh, to guaranteed success that's on lightsong.net. Um, we, is, is what we're doing by take, going through this, the process of the webinar is getting that version of ourselves that we want rather than random versions that aren't serving us well or aren't meeting our needs or aren't giving us the happiness we want? They're not random. They are self-inflicted. Right. Okay. They are self-inflicted. Yeah. Because you've been caught into a description of a version of yourself. You've either put yourself there or you've listened to others put yourself there. Okay. You're caught in that version. Recreate I'm not really talking about quantum physics per se. I'm not using those words. I'm just showing you how energy works and how you can move out of those versions as well as how you're contributing to them. That's what I'm, that's what I sort of meant. And that's what would be my, what is my motivation yeah. for following the steps to recreate yourself. Yeah. How you're contributing and how to make it different for yourself. Yes. And, yes. Okay. And then you recreate yourself because again, you have been held in a version, either with your own self-infliction or somebody else saying it to you. Okay. Well, this is just, it's, it's almost like I found a doorway that I didn't know existed and it gives me hope for some of these blocks or stuck places or whatever we call it. Um, because I'm mentally ready to move out. And so I hope everyone else is too, to get to that place where they have more uh, control, would you say, over uh, their, their uh, experiences in their life? Control is a word. I like to, like to feel empowerment. Empowerment. Because, okay. Yeah, I feel like our culture does not empower people. Mm. They only empower a certain segment of people. But everyone has the ability to do this. It's part of who we are as a human being. And so it's moving into that empowerment of, of truth of who you actually are. Because I think all of these versions of ourselves that are full of lack are false versions, they're illusions. And it's moving out of that into the greater version of yourself and 
who you actually are meant to be. Okay, let's be Spider-Man. <laughs> Right, recreate yourself, seven truths to guaranteed success. Jan Ingle Smith with lightsong.net. That is where you can do the work and make your shift into a life that you've been wondering why you don't have, and now you will. And so Facebook, thank too. Facebook is another nice way to stay uh, informed of some of the things that I'm doing. If you like, if you want to befriend me on Facebook, that's good, Jan. Angle Smith or Light Song, either one. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I look forward to uh, learning more about what it is that you do. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome, Diane. Thank you.